there's two different kinds of furs. So I was talking about this in my interview. So there's this kind of fur, which is like long pile and it's really nice and pretty. And then there is this kind of fur. And I have two, I have multiple kinds of both. So the differences between them is this one doesn't really have a pile direction, but it is a pain to work with. <laughs> it's really, really, really soft and I love it for lakes. And you'll see when we're making our doll because when you trim it, it makes a really, really seamless trim. And I usually use this one for bodies or manes or really intricate pieces is the longer pile, but this one does have a direction. So you can see if you pet the fur in one direction, it very much wants to lay back down the way it wants to go. Alrighty, so with the fur, I wanted to show backing as well, because backing is important. So from the front, you wanna make sure if you have a good quality fur, you're gonna pull up the pile like this, and you're gonna look down at the bottom. So because I can't see the, the backing very well through the fur, you know it's a good quality fur. Okay. But it's a, it's, I don't really have a ton of bad quality fur, sorry, I would show you. But I always make sure I get a good quality fur. And you can tell, like, if, if you have a preference for touch, if it's soft and whatever, just go with what you like. But that's definitely furs. But you can tell right here, too, with the direction, the way I've cut it, the fur very much only wants to go this way. Hey, Curious Mondo fans, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out the other videos in the channel for some fabulous tips, techniques, and interviews with artists.